it early and you need to read it every day. You just can't go out there and till your soil up, put your seeds in, and go off on vacation and come back in a month or two months and think that there's not going to be any weeds there. There's not going to, you know, there's there's going to be anything growing there because uh, without care for plants, they don't usually do very well. God's word is something that will motivate you. It will. Uh, convict you. It will show you the things that you're doing wrong and help you to do things that are right. I mean, that's the purpose. That's what God is all about. Certainly, He came to die on the cross to save you from your sins and to, to help you to go to heaven. But He also wants you to have a fruitful, productive, successful, joyful life while you're here on earth. Amen. And it requires a little effort on your time. The Lord want you to have more faith. It's, you know, just again with the, with the idea of tilling the soil, planting it. Uh, sometimes the, 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 the ground needs a little extra fertilizer in it to bring back the, the nutrients in the soil that have been used up. Well, the fertilizer of God's Word is faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It, it is something that, that makes things happen. And faith is stepping out there and doing something when you don't even, uh, other people don't think that it can happen. And maybe you even have some doubts it can happen too. But God is saying it can happen. With men, a lot of things aren't possible, the Word of God says. But with God, all things are possible. Yes, that's right. And there, there, there may some, be some dreams and some uh, things, personally, goals that you've set for your life and maybe they haven't come about yet. That doesn't mean that they're not going to, but you've got to fertilize them a little bit by stepping out on faith and taking steps of faith. Each day, you, you have to, to begin with prayer and saying, God, I know what I want to do, but I don't know how to do it. Or God, I, I, I don't know what I want to do, but I know I want to do something that is uh, pleasing to you and something that is helpful to other people and something that will make my life and my family's life uh, helpful and productive. If you'll start with a prayer, that is a first step that will get you motivated and get you moving forward. The Lord allows flowers to start over every year. Why won't He let you start over? That's right. you're, you're more valuable than a flower. Yes. Listen to this scripture in, in Matthew 6, 28 through 30. It says, Why do you take thought for your clothes, what you're going to wear, or what you're going to eat? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't work, and neither do they spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. Wherefore, if God shall clothe the grass of the field, which is today, and tomorrow it's cast into the oven, shall He not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Now, I want you to apply that to every aspect of your life. If God cares about plants, He cares about birds, I'm telling you, He cares about you more. Because yes. He died for you. He didn't die for the plants. Amen. He didn't die for the birds or the animals because He made Himself in the image of man and He came down and He, he walked this earth. He suffered things that you suffer. And he struggled in His lifetime just so He could know how you feel and how He could be a, a help to you when you're going through these difficult yes. times. Amen. Another thing about faith, that fertilizer that, that goes on the plants, is it will produce a multiple reward. Each cup of seed that's planted will produce a bushel or more of, of results of crops. You can plant one tomato plant and get many, many tomatoes off of that plant. And not just one time, but it continues to, to produce tomatoes all through the summer and up into the fall and usually to the first frost. 
Same way with your life. When you do something and you begin to plant good seeds, you may not initially see the result of your planting. Because you can plant a tomato plant today, and you can go out there tomorrow, and there won't be any tomatoes on it. <laughs> you go out there in a week or two weeks, and there won't be any tomato plants on it. But you still need to go out there and pull the weeds out from around it. You need to water it when it needs watering. You need to, to make sure that you spray it to keep the insects off of it. And your life is the same way. When you, when you decide you're going to serve God, and you're going to follow God, you may not see the results tomorrow, how things are changing. But just because they're not changing on the surface does not mean they're not changing below the surface. And God is working in your life to make yes. you all that you want to be and all that He wants you to be. That return is not going to be one for one. In other words, I go do one good thing, so God's going to do one good thing for me. God doesn't work in that type of economy. Uh, he wants to give for every kernel of corn that you plant, He wants to give you a stalk that produces thousands of kernels. For every kind deed, every uh, type of ministry you do to other people, God is going to give it back to you. In this lifetime, Jesus said, at least a hundredfold. And in the life to come, it will, can't even be counted how many times you receive a blessing from what you did. Everything you do in your life good for the Lord Jesus Christ counts for eternity. Amen. Yes. It counts, and it counts, and it recounts. You just, you know, the blessings that God has got for you, the Bible says, uh, are beyond anything you can see, or anything you've ever heard, or anything you can ever think. Amen. But let me tell you this. Whatever you plant, it's going to produce its own kind. A kernel of corn is going to produce corn. A tomato plant is going to produce tomatoes. In our lives, a seed of doubt or fear or distrust is going to produce its own kind. Mm -hmm. If you walk around fearing that you're going to fail, guess what? You're going to fail. Mm -hmm. You go around with an attitude that the world owes you something, you're going to find out the world really doesn't care about you at all, and you're going to be a failure. Yes. Mm -hmm. The price or the effort of thinking thoughts of love, prosperity, the energy you put in to doing good things will produce good fruit. Amen. So I encourage you, get rid of those thoughts of, of, of hate and poverty, of self-doubt, uh, all these things that have been plaguing you. Get rid of them and start giving, you know, go, go to the Lord and say, God, I, I really want to plant some new crops this year and I want to get something new and different in my life. <clears throat> well, spring says, well, I'm here. I'm waiting on you. I'm ready. All you got to do, I'm providing the sunshine. I'm providing the warmth. I'm providing the, the, uh, the, 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 the nutrients in the soil. I'm providing everything that you need. And all you need to do is go out and start planting. God's done the same thing for you. He has, he has prepared everything. And all you got to do is start serving the Lord as He directs you and encourages you to do. He's given you everything that you need. He's given you ability. He's given you gifts. He's given you talents. He's given you resources. He's given you all these things, not just for you to, to bank them up somewhere, and see how much money you can stick in a bank or how, how good you can get at, at uh, 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 writing a, 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 uh, a poem or a book or, uh, or anything. It, it, they're of no value if they're not used. That's right. Something that, a book that's never published is not worth much. A thought that is never, a thought of love and kindness you give someone if it's not said, it does very little and has very little result. That's sowing very spare, uh, sparingly. But if you take that thought of love and encouragement to other people, uh, the Holy Spirit will direct you and, and He'll direct you to plant uh, the right kind of seeds and they will produce a lot. You may feel that, well, I've got plenty. I don't need to plant anything. But I'm telling you, Today you have plenty, but tomorrow you may not have plenty. That's right. You know, 
We don't ever know what tomorrow might bring. That's why it is good to, to, to save money. It's good to uh, prepare for retirement. It's good to do all these things. <coughs> but there'll be a day when you need a blessing. There'll be a day when you want somebody to forgive you for something you, you made a mistake. You made a wrong choice. You made a wrong decision. And you'll say, you know, no, I really wish I hadn't have done that. And I, and I hope my children will forgive me. I hope my grandchildren will forgive me. I hope my uh, friends will forgive me. But if you have not planted seeds of forgiveness, you can't expect much in return.